red lipstick all in the paper. And I laugh together. Okay, so we're gonna be testing out a newer foundation from Tarte, and it is the Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. And the color that I have it in is the Medium Tan Honey, and it's this one right here. So let's open it up. And you already know Tarte packaging is adorable. Ooh, look at that. Excuse my ratchet nails. So packaging is amazing. I guess it kind of goes with their primer, which is a clean slate timeless primer, and it's one of my all-time favorites. I always use this primer. I've tried so many, but I always go back to this one because it just leaves your skin looking amazing and so this is the primer and I'm gonna be trying it with the brush too the foundation brush and spatula and this is it it's cute that it has a spatula Ooh, look at this how cute is this brush and then this is a little spatula love it so i guess you scoop up the foundation and let's open it up oh my gosh there's so much and this is like a gel like foundation which i'm really excited to try because i don't think i've ever tried anything like that you guys already know tart is my top favorite brand that I absolutely love. They're vegan, cruelty free, and their stuff is just so good. It always lays nicely. They are full coverage and it doesn't clog your pores and your skin looks bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Clean Slate Primer. All right, so now that we have the primer on, we're gonna go in with the foundation. And I'm gonna use the little spatula. I'm gonna use what's on the top because there's a lot on my lid. So I'm gonna grab about this much. And I'm gonna pour that onto my hand. So I'm gonna do one side with the foundation brush and then I'm gonna do the other side with a beauty blender and kind of see what we end up with, so. And I'm mad excited to try this foundation because Tarte never seems to fail me when it comes down to their foundations. My favorite is the Rainforest of the Sea. The Amazonian Clay one is really good, but the Rainforest of the Sea is just so beautiful. It leaves such a nice natural satin finish to the skin. It's a favorite one. So let's take this one off. And I don't know if it's exactly my color. Might be a little slightly off, but we can always fix that with concealer and bronzer. So it feels, it feels very light on the skin. Um, looks good. And the brush is nice. The bristles are really nice and smooth. It blends the foundation nicely into the skin. All right, so it blended really nicely into the skin. The bristles are really nice and smooth. I mean, from a close up, it looks good. It doesn't feel heavy, it feels really light but moisturizing, like very hydrating. So it's doing what it says it is. And I like it. I really like it. Okay. So now let's try it with the Beauty Blender. I didn't even realize that I have one earring on. <laughs> 
been a long day. Okay, so now that I have used the beauty blender on this side and the brush on this side, so the brush is definitely going to give you a more full coverage finish. And as for the beauty blender, you guys already know it's going to give you more of that natural finish and buildable coverage. But yes, you can get a medium to full coverage with this foundation. It feels really light. Um, more on a hydrating side, so if you've tried hydrating serums or gels, um, even moisturizers, cream moisturizers, you can feel that it's not heavy on the skin, but you do feel that hydration to it. And I do feel it a little more on the left side, and that's where I applied it with a brush. So it is a little bit heavier, but it's still drying nicely into the skin. Um, and this side just feels very, very light. And you guys already know, I've done this in a past review, first impressions, that you usually get more of a full coverage with the brush and a lighter coverage with the beauty blender, but at the same time, the product tends to feel a little heavier when you apply it with a brush. But if you wanna apply it with a brush and then go in with a beauty blender, that works as well too. That's what I normally do. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I will be right back to tell you my full thoughts on this foundation. Be right back. All right, guys, so my makeup is now finished and I did use the Tarte Shape Tape and I also used their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Sweet. And this is how it looks. Super corally color with little gold flakes in it. Um, I tried to use as many Tarte products as I could. I actually didn't set my foundation with my Cover FX um, powder, which I usually use. I just left it as is because I didn't feel like I really needed to set it. I did do some baking, but I did not use a powder to set my face because I didn't feel like you really needed it with this foundation, but of course it all depends on your skin type. So now my full thoughts on the Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation. I absolutely love it. It looks amazing on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. Using the Clean Slate Poreless Primer I think definitely helped because my pores do look smaller. Um, just the way that the foundation laid, it laid out perfectly. So if you wanna pair those two together, I think you're gonna get a flawless finish. But you can also try it with the different primers. I probably will do the same, but I think those two together are awesome. As for the brush, I absolutely love it. I actually don't own any Tarte brushes, so this is my first one, and look how cute it is. I mean, it's gold. And the bristles are super soft. It really applies foundation nicely. It doesn't soak up a lot of foundation. It spreads it perfectly. But of course, this side I did it with the Beauty Blender and it gave me a little bit of a lighter finish, but that's okay with me. Um, I think I'll probably apply it with the brush and then um, just diffuse it with the Beauty Blender. So I love this foundation. I think you guys need to pick it up. If you have tried their Amazonian Clay foundation and you feel like that's just too heavy on the skin or it dries you out or it looks a little cakey because it can be a little heavy go ahead and try this out because it's amazing and honestly i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm gonna be real with you if i don't like something i'm gonna say it but i'm not just saying oh my gosh this is amazing no i truly feel amazing like this foundation makes me feel so pretty <laughs> so yeah go pick up this foundation like i said even try out their rainforest of the sea that i had spoken about earlier that one is really awesome it's a little bit more waterier but if you're looking for something hydrating i think this will go with all skin types if you have dry skin even if you have oily skin as well too or just combination so I look forward to wearing this foundation more especially out in the Sun I do live in Florida 
and it's extremely hot out here so I want to see the wear of it eventually and maybe I'll give you guys an update maybe in a month or two after I've been wearing it for a while but I think this might be my go-to foundation for the summer because I like something that is hydrating but it's also not super dry or heavy on the skin because it is hot and I'm not trying to literally melt and not cute so I will try it out and I will give you guys probably a later review on this foundation so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick first impressions and review on the Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts. And if you have any other foundations that you would like for me to try out and do a first impressions video, let me know down below in the comment section. I will see you kitties very, very soon. Love you.